Okay, hello there. I am Pumpa 001, and this is AOS Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 Show 7B, and we're getting ready to get started with the um, Cabanas No One Contenders match. So, as you already know, I already got the team set up. Only we gotta do is make the rules, and like things are a little bit different now with the game because. I'm going to eventually have more characters on here. So, the teams that will be competing, as you can see, right there. We can go right here, right quick. And let me scroll up. You probably already synced this stuff, but like, it's just something I'm showing you. So, at the moment, I have tested out these nine crafts that you see right here. These nine. Creator wrestlers. I still got seven more, but they are not really going to be utilized until the pay per view. So, like, I do need to still do stuff for them, but, like, you know, we got time with those characters or whatever, like that. So, let's go in here and I'll show you what I'm talking about again. These are all the characters I have created so far. Well, I created all on here. All these are created because these are my original 16 crafts or whatever like that. But now they're under different slots. Slot 9 is for these 8. Slot 8 is for these 8. And slot 1 is for these 8. And I have completed Victor and Ghost Ninja. Ghost Ninja is basically ready for, you know, the um, show 8A qualifiers. And Victor, he may be needed a little tweak here or there. And watch my feet. I still got to complete his moveset. And the same thing with um, Tsunami. Oni, he probably be quick to create. Because just like Ghost Ninja, he's a shoot wrestling style. Then I believe I decided to put Lion as martial arts. And then Spider is probably, you know... Pro wrestling and then Dragon is probably pro wrestling as well, if not martial arts. The before at the bottom where you see Oni, Lion, Spider, and Dragon, they are the Yakuza 4. And then the other ones are just Watch My Feet is basically gonna be similar to you know what's his name? I forget his name. Um, the Taekwondo character, you know, then Victor is similar to Midas Punch, the boxer on the game that I created, and then Ghost Ninja, he's simp he's like, he's like, um, a shoot wrestling style of, you know, what's the name, um, the ninja I got on the, the game, the white ninja I got on the game, who's in all white and stuff, he's a, He's similar to that guy, except for he's a shoot style character. The tsunami, he's gonna be probably similar to, you know, the other giant character on here, Andre the Giant. He's a super heavyweight. That's the only the second super heavyweight on the game because there's only Andre the Giant on here that's currently a super heavyweight or classifies a super heavyweight. So yeah. So I'll leave that on here and we can go into the game as you already know. So we can go on to here. You see all that. See that they all are correct as far as the characters. Now I already tested out um, um, Devastation and he was the first one I tested out because his match is the next, it's the match I left off on. His match right here. So let's take a look at those rules. Right quick, we gotta go back out this one more time. We gotta take a look at the rules. So those are the rules, yada yada. Alright, let me go back on here. So we have 10 points. This is supposed to be 2, right? That's supposed to be that, that. This is supposed to be on. It's supposed to be one. 
and this is supposed to be three. Yeah, because three minutes, three rounds, ten points, two for take, two for knockdowns, one for rope escape, one for takedown. Give up is on. Blood stop is yes, yes. All right. We can officially get started once I make sure it's on the hardest difficulty, which it should already be. All right. And enjoy. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go a match by match basis as far as like what characters I'm going to be utilizing in matches and stuff like that. All because it's, it's a kind of witchy watchy with the um, characters. Like, I have multiple of them on the screen. But eventually it like fades out with one of the characters and like that I have to like go refine that character or whatever. Which can be a hassle at times, so oh yeah, we gotta skip through that. We're just doing the in-ring. Yeah, so enjoy this first one. So that was about six minutes. So, if you want to know, I basically was testing out the characters. I've been testing out against number one contenders and the uh, champions of uh, divisions. Like, for example, for for uh, Devastation, I tested them out against Yoshiki because I know Yoshiki is going to be probably the person he ended up going against. Also, Yoshiki was. I used Yoshiki also to test out um, Boom as well. So, those two characters were tested by. Yoshiki and they was both able to beat him like um boom I thought about not having boom face off with him all because like him and boom are coming up in their next match but he was able to he was able to do well against him in the match I put him in the two matches I put him in there against him pretty well in both matches so like I'll just test it out not to try to make the characters better than each other because I already told y'all that like while I'm testing out the crafts after I create them and stuff like that it's not about necessarily unless they're new characters I'm not changing their AI tactics I'm just basically trying to figure out what moves to give them what extra moves to give them nice head kick by Boss Rudin Yeah, so that's that's basically what all that's going on with this stuff right now. So like my 16 original crabs, I'm not chasing their AI tactics. I'm just trying to see about trying to get their movesets close to the way they used to be, if not improve on them and make them better. You know, because I, as I told you before, I had lost all my data for this game, but in the process of losing all the data for the game, I found out a way to be able to have more stuff on the game, more characters on the game by using the um, memory slots that's on the game for saving, you know, your placement in the game. But instead of saving the placement, I save different sets of, you know, different sets of eight of the craft characters or creator wrestlers on here. As you already know, I have I could save 16 on there, but I'm only saving 8 because, like, if I try to save 16, it won't re it'll kind of mess up the flow of doing the, um, what's the name? The, um, the actual tournaments for the, um, whatever it's called, the AOS Virtual Person 2. So, like, that's why only every one of them is going to have 8 so far, you know? If I figure out a way to do it better and like be able to do it with 16 of them, I may add more to each of them. But at the moment, it's just the, you know, the eight for each of the characters. Yeah. And that seems like enough because there's nine slots, because slot one is not going to be used for nothing at the moment. It's probably going to be used to, for like, basically for like making sure I got the um, 
champions on the game when they do become champions. My crafts or whatever like that. Make sure they're on the game. But like, as far as everything else goes with the game and whatnot, I have um like you know those nine slots. That includes the 16 I already created. That's a total of 72. And as you already know, there's 98 characters on the game once you unlock everybody. So that gives us a total of 170. And I feel that's more than enough people to have on the game. With my characters having, you know, 98 of them to be used in the crafts thing. But that's not going to be for a while. Probably won't get to that m many until like sometime next year. Anyway, let's get back to this. I've been talking for long enough. Yeah, I've been talking for over 10 minutes. Enjoy this. No one can tear this match for the combat is championship.
All right, congrats to Alexander. He won that. His team is now up one to nothing. The blue team is winning so far. Next up is match two. Let's see if he continues the momentum for his team. That was a kind of a disappointing showing for, you know, Boss Rudin. He didn't really do too much in that match. He got that head kick at the very least, but like he was able to really get on his office roll. Sometimes the AIs, AIs come out guns are blazing and do really well. Sometimes they, you know, be so hard to do very little. And sometimes it can just be matchups. I mean, knockdowns do too, but like, some of these characters know how to get takedown after takedown in their matchups. It is always depends on how your character is set up.
Oh damn time man, I wish he would have just went for a grapple and ended the damn match earlier, but to each their own, you know, and, and the way he wanted to, cause god, now we ain't got time for nothing else, alright, the score is now one to one, as you already know I took a while with the, what's the name stuff, so we're not even gonna get into the very next match, we're gonna end it right here with the score tie, one to one, 
And that means we got five matches left. And Kurameda is already bleeding though, so going into his next match, he's already at disadvantage. As you already know, you can win these by blood stoppage. And I believe that jumping knee is a good move to be finished off with by his up uh, his opponent uses the jumping knee, so like you gotta be watching out for that. That can cause blood damage to happen. So yeah. Odin force. Uh whatever. Yeah, so let's end this right here. So of course, hope you enjoy. Coming up will be the next part, so as this part is transferred to the SD card. I probably should have had started off with that long old introduction about what's going on with this and that and stuff like that, because I think I already got a video explaining that, but I just want to make sure that I showcase that or tell you about that. So, again, hope you enjoyed the first two matches. Coming up will be bout number three for this number one contenders match for the Kabatis Championship. Till next one later.